Hello everybody, this is Evan Abrams, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're actually gonna take a step back from the program and talk about the career of motion graphic design. I get a lot of questions on this topic, like what do you do for a job? And is that really a job? How can I have that job? And so on. These are questions I get on Facebook and Twitter and across the dinner table at Thanksgiving. There's a lot of judgment at Thanksgiving. There are three main ways that you get into this career. You are either an employee at something like a production company, where you work for a boss, you work on projects, or you are a freelancer where you work for yourself, but really you work for clients, or you create kind of content or products or something for other people to use and buy where you don't really interact with people except on a very abstract basis. No matter which of these three streams you're into, there are a lot of things that go into making a successful career. And you need certainly the technical skills of using After Effects, using Cinema 4D, all these products, but you also need soft skills. You're gonna need to work with others, that interpersonal business communication skills, all that stuff is important. And you really need to have a diversity of these things if you're really gonna be successful. I keep saying skills because this little talk is brought to us by Skillshare, a site where a lot of experts teach excellent courses on a variety of things. And if you use the promo code ECABRAMS99, you will enjoy three months of Skillshare for just 99 cents. So the first and perhaps most traditional form of having a job in motion graphics is to be an employee somewhere. This means being an employee of an agency or a production company, a place where you'll be working with a team and under a hierarchy of directors and producers. And of course, this comes with great things like dental benefits, uh, pay, you're getting a salaried job where you come in for time and then you are paid for that time. So you kind of know where your money's coming from, which is a pretty great and very comfortable way to live. And there's kind of vertical advancement. So you might start as an editor and end as an art director and eventually run the place. Who knows? That's the dream, right? But uh, to get into these places is very challenging. Uh, the job market is not so great. There are very few jobs, and what jobs there are are very competitive. So you're going up against everyone who's just graduating, uh, also up against people who have just been transitioning from other parts of the industry. So it can be very dicey, and you really want to make yourself stand out. So you're going to want to be able to show off a portfolio, you want to show off a reel, you want to have a, a pretty nice CV or resume that you can send around which is very difficult when you're just getting into things. So big tip is to make sure that you're showing a variety of real things that you've done and you're gonna to wanna to build up a body of work. Maybe you don't have client work to show off, well, you're gonna to wanna to have some fairly good personal pieces and hopefully over the course of maybe a college program you've built those up or you've been going through a lot of self-directed things and you've created interesting projects. But the big thing I'll say is you wanna show off a variety of skills. You wanna show off, you can do 3D, you can do tracking, you can do some illustration, you can be the Swiss army knife that these people wanna slot into their team. I'm seeing more and more that Production companies are looking for people who can do everything. We want one person who can solve all these problems. And that's the big thing. They want someone who will solve the problems they have so they don't have to get another specialist in. And while you might not have those skills right now, I can tell you there are a lot of great places to go learn them, such places as Skillshare, where you can learn skills for three months for just 99 cents using the promo code ECARooms99. Good plug, that was really good. Now, the second way that we talked about was freelancing. This is where you're not really an employee of a place, but you do work for somebody. You're always working for a client of some kind if you're a freelancer. So those clients might be production companies and agencies and large companies, but you don't have the same security, but you're also freer to set your own hours, work wherever you like. I work from home, it's a pretty great deal. You might do that too, but you do have to provide your own hardware, your own software, and you're basically your own business. So beyond having the technical side of things, you really need to know how to promote and market yourself. You need to know how to negotiate contracts. You need to provide excellent customer service so customers come back to you. You need a lot more of those business skills and those soft skills to really make a go at being a freelancer. So you're gonna wanna run advertising campaigns. You're gonna wanna maintain social media. Wink. And it's really important to have these things going so that people can find you. You're not always hunting for a client. Hunting and prospecting for clients is a lot of hours and it's a lot of work and you don't get paid for it until you actually win some business. Uh, I will say a caveat here though is that I'm not a huge proponent of going to contest sites and marketplaces for these things. In the early days, that can help build up a portfolio of real work, uh, but it really devalues your time. So I don't 
always recommend it. There's some interesting stuff out there, certainly, and some people are posting jobs, but if you have to undercut your hours, that is not worth it. But the big way to make a go is to really have a strong body of work and to really be active and engaged in the community. If you want to be a freelancer working for production companies, let them know who you are, and you're going to have to do some cold calls and get your name out there. So nothing's really easy. But a lot of people don't have these sort of business and marketing skills, and that's a good segue to talk about Skillshare, where you can learn about such things as email and social media marketing. Use promo code ECABRAMS99, three months, 99 cents, it's great. And finally, the third facet, the third stream, the third pillar, the third metaphor of all this stuff is making products and selling them directly to customers or making content and hoping people watch it. This is stuff you can do self-directed. There's no client, there's no set hours, there's no place to go in to do this. You just do it on your own and you try to make sure that people come to it and use it and like it. This requires a high amount of sort of marketing knowledge, uh, knowledge of where you're going to sell things, who you're going to sell them to, and you need a high amount of technical ability to make something with real utility to your customers. And if I'm saying customers, you definitely need some kind of customer service knowledge, and you might need to build a website. You might need to do a lot of things to uh, really build a business around that. So it has the same kind of challenges as being a freelancer, but you don't really work with clients per se. You also have the added challenge of trying to stay on top of trends and keeping your old customers happy by giving them something that they'll like. And this could be lots of things in the motion graphic space. You could be making templates, you could be making fonts, you could be making stock video, you could be making some kind of plugins, you could be doing scripting, you could be doing a lot of things. Things that other motion designers need or that maybe video editors need. And you need to kind of figure out who your products are going to, what they want to get from them. You might even be making content, content like this channel. Sometimes if you don't have all the pieces you need to make things happen, you need to get some extra skills to really make a go of it. This is the third plug to check out Skillshare. So Skillshare, promo code ECABRAMS99, you will enjoy three months of Skillshare for 99 cents, and maybe you'll discover skills that you can use to create products for people all over the place. Go make some fonts, make some hand-drawn stuff, it'll be great, you'll love it. And all of this is to say that the career of motion design is kind of challenging sometimes, but there's also no one way to do it. There's no one way to be. There's no single best way to be a motion graphic designer or a visual effects artist. I mean, in VFX you're kind of tied into the movie industry or production companies and that kind of thing, but that isn't to say you won't also be dealing with the challenges of freelancing versus employment versus making something you can just pass on to customers. So all of these things in the creative field are pretty applicable. So hopefully this has been helpful to you guys out there looking to get a job. I know it's tough out there, but if you have any questions about the stuff that we're talking about here, please let me know in the comments. It's definitely something I want to answer for you guys. And if there's enough questions, we'll probably end up doing another video to try to cover those frequently asked career questions. Kind of sounds like a nice segment. Anyway, point is, if you have questions, ask it in the comments. And if you like learning about After Effects and motion design, please subscribe to this channel. That's what we talk about here. It's what we do. It's what I do 24 seven, all day, every day, all the year. So I like to share that with you guys. And hopefully you enjoy uh, hearing me talk about it, which is great. I love the involvement. So like I said, comment, subscribe. If you just want to talk about After Effects and motion graphics in general, hit me up on the Twitter at EC Abrams or get involved on the Facebook page. The links to all that stuff is in the description. Also in the description, you will find a link to Skillshare. Sponsor this video. Again, promo code ECABRAMS99, 99 cents, three months. You will love Skillshare. And I say that not only as someone who is uh, currently sponsored by them, but as someone who learns from there and teaches on there too. There's a lot of really expert stuff. But that's it for me. Like I said, if you enjoyed this stuff, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if you subscribe, I'll see you around the internet.